Okay, now for our second example in section 3.1, we are going to calculate a derivative, but this time we're not going to do it in a sneaky way. I'm not going to surprise you with it like we did in example one, because here we were like, we're just finding the slope of a tangent line. And then it turns out that, oh, hey, you actually just computed a derivative. Um, so this time in example two, we're going to come at it directly and say uh, we want to find a derivative. So our function here, f of x equals x squared plus x minus 4, and we're told to find f prime of 3, the derivative of our function f at the value x equals 3, or x naught equals 3. Okay. So yeah, derivative of a function f, our point x naught here is going to be that 3. Okay, so x naught equals 3 in this case. And we want to compute f prime of x naught. So we are going to use our limit of the difference quotient expression. And this is just going to feel exactly like finding the slope of a tangent line, okay? We're just going to write a different thing at the beginning. We're going to write f prime of 3 equals, and then it's going to be that limit as h approaches 0 of f of x naught plus h, so that would be 3 plus h minus f of x naught, which is 3, all over h. Okay, so yeah, just like finding the slope of a tangent line. We use the same type of process here. Keep writing our limit as h approaches 0. Um, we're going to plug into our function now. We're going to plug in 3 plus h there and there for x. All right, so that would look like 3 plus h squared plus 3 plus h minus 4. Okay, so that's f of 3 plus h, and then minus f of 3. That would be 3 squared plus 3 minus 4, all over h. Okay, and... Keep writing limits, h approaches 0. Let's expand some things out here. So do some distribution on that 3 plus h squared, 9 plus 6h plus h squared, plus 3 plus h minus 4, okay? And then minus... Uh, 9 plus 3 minus 4, that would be 8. Okay. All over h. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Clean it up a little bit. Limit as h approaches 0. Um, let's combine our constants there uh, in the first part 9 plus 3 minus 4. Hey, that turns out to be 8, as you might suspect here. 8 plus 6, oops, not 6 H's, but 7 H's, 6 H plus an H. Okay, so 8 plus 7 H plus H squared. I think we got everything there h squared, 7 h's, 8, yep, and then minus our 8 over h, and of course, how convenient, the 8's are gone. Okay, so we've got our limit, h approaches 0, and we have 7 h plus h squared over h, which, you know, we can factor and cancel there. Take out an H. That way we can cancel it. Ah, so nice. That sign that we're on the right track. Okay, 
So we've got a limit as h approaches zero of just seven plus h now, that's great. So we can see that that is going to equal seven plus zero when we do our direct substitution. And so we are going to get seven here. And that is the derivative of this function, so the derivative of x squared plus x minus 4 at the point x not equals 3 is going to equal 7. So there's the value of that derivative at that point.